Hi guys, it's Derek with Diamonds. I have an unboxing for you. Unfortunately, holidays are coming. So, I have Santa and Chim Chimney. So, bear with me for a minute while I struggle. <laughs> It is, here's the diamonds, here's the schematic, it's 49 colors, 4 ABs, and here we go. It's absolutely adorable. I usually don't get Christmas ones, but I'm like, okay, I'm going to try it out and see. Let's get down in the business. The symbols are really clear. I was expecting the reds to be an issue, but it's it seems okay to me. So, and it's a Darman Art Club. Do what makes you sparkle. And I love what they do with their canvas. Their canvas is like velvet. Um, you actually have your schematic at the very bottom, which I'm not used to seeing that. You have all of your symbols on both sides. And then you have your label telling you what it is for your diamonds. I think my favorite part of this kit would have to be where the presents are and the drum. And before I show you the diamonds, I want to pinpoint where all the ABs are. So number one, have it in his gloves around the, the snow on the chimney. The little house is full of ABs. They're blending in with the snow. Little parts of the presents. Drum has some in it. Number two. Uh, where are you? have two ABs in the holly right here. Just bear with me. Oh, number two is in the brick. And number three is this very, very faint, like, yellow. It's in the moon. And it's in the horn on the top. It's right here. Over here. There. Number four is my favorite. See all this, this snow here? Number four AB is spread throughout the kit, as well as down here. So the snow sticks out. And this kit is not a bad size. But what I do is I take a break. I do a small kit, then I do a large kit. And this kit measurement is 58 by 64 centimeters. And it's a 22 by 25 inch canvas. So I'm gonna lift up a piece. Let's look. Oh yeah, it's real tacky. 
And all the wrinkles you see in this kit are not rivers or bubbles like you would normally get out of a Chinese company painting. All, all it is is you just pull the plastic back, lay it back down, and you have no wrinkles. These kits I love because it takes all of five minutes. If you just lay it on a flat surface, leave it there for five minutes, you come back, it's perfectly flat. Um, my favorite thing about Diamond Art Club is if you have missing drills, they will send them to you. And if you ever have an issue with a symbol, they will try to fix the problem. If they can't, they'll, you know, a lot, lot of times they pull the canvas off the site. Then they find a way to reconstruct the canvas itself. Um, let's look at the symbols for a minute. Um, their symbols are very sporadic. It's not like you have like 1 through 50, then A, B, C, D. No. I, and that's what I love about Diamond Art Club. They have symbols that you don't normally see on a kit. And the newest thing I noticed on their kits is this. You can actually post your completed canvas on social media and they actually have a discount code at the bottom of your canvas. And as we're looking at this, you see this, the, the wavy part of the canvas? That causes it from not fraying. And... I, if any of these diamond painters out, out there, we all know we've had a canvas that every time you touch it, it frays. And that's why I have gone, I would say about 85% to Diamond Art Club because I have not yet once had a frayed canvas. Like a, a good example is right up here where I had it in the box where it's wrinkly on the ends. It didn't fray. It would have frayed if it was a Chinese company diamond diamond painting. There's a couple few, couple few companies out there that are trying to mimic Diamond Art Club, but my ph philosophy on that is you can't beat the original company. You just can't. You can try, but you're not going to. Um, and I've been diamond painting for about three years now, and I didn't try this company until I saw a post on Facebook, and I was like, you know what, I'm going to try them, and yeah, they're pricey, I'm not going to lie, but it was a good decision I made. So now we're going to get into these, di these diamonds, because I know you're dying to see what these ABs are. So, right off the bat, I'm going to just, we're just going to look. I don't, I don't go through all the diamonds because that's just foolish. 141, there's your first AB. And by the way, this is a square. One oh three. So look at the sparkle. Bear with me. I think I showed you what, yes, I did. I showed you one forty one. So 
but before I continue on, look at the 310. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven bags of 310, guys. <gasps> And yes, the Diamond Art Club asthma is a thing. Here is 131. And look at the focus. Focus. Look at the sparkle, guys. And I'm missing a, a B. Oh, 101. Look, guys. Oh, my gosh. And I am a square fan. I'm all about square diamond paintings for one reason and one reason only. I love the detail you get in a square. And my favorite part about a square is that... When they snap into place, you can hear it. You don't hear it so much with a circle, with a round diamond. Um, but I'm going to... Uh, we're going to take a little field trip. And I am going to show you... What I am currently working on right now. It is actually one of the older kit, older new releases, but bear with me and I'll get back to you. <laughs> 